animatedanatomy.com. In this lesson, I will talk about the muscles of the hand. Those are usually very small muscles that find themselves in this place. First, I will start by explaining the lateral waller. You should know that there is lateral waller, the medial waller of the muscles, and also the intermediate muscles. Okay, so I will start by explaining the lateral waller of the hand. First, I will start by explaining this muscle here. This is the opponent's pollicis muscle. It has the origin on the trapezium bone here and also on the flexor retinaculum here. The flexor retinaculum is the connective tissue here. The insertion of this muscle is the metacarpal bone of the thumb here and this muscle is innervated by the median nerve. Of course, the name tells you everything. Since it is opponent's pollicis, it serves to oppose the thumb. And if you ask yourself to oppose to what? Well, to oppose to the little finger. This movement, opposition, imagine it as if when you touch the tips of your little finger and your thumb without touching other fingers or anything, then this movement is called the opposition. There's also a opponent's digiti minimi. This serves for the opposition movement of the little finger, of course. Next muscle that I will talk about is the flexor pollicis brevis. Here we see the flexor pollicis brevis. It has the origin on the trapezoid bone here, this bone here, and not the trapezium bone here. But it has the common origin with the opponent's pollicis on the retinaculum. The insertion is also different. It does not insert on the metacarpal bone, but on the proximal phalanx. They also have one more thing in common. They are both innervated by the median nerve. But additionally to that, the flexor pollicis brevis is also innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. Now, next muscle that I will talk about in the Waller group, uh, in the lateral Waller group, is the abductor pollicis brevis. Now, that muscle is above these two muscles. It is right here. And the abductor pollicis brevis uh, has the origin on the scaphoid bone here and also has the origin on the trapezium bone here. The insertion of this muscle is the proximal phalanx of the thumb and the thumb extensors that I talked about in the other lesson. Of course, the name tells you everything. Since it is the abductor pollicis brevis, it serves for the abduction of the thumb. The antagonist of this muscle is, of course, the adductor pollicis. Note that this muscle is not brevis or longus. This is only adductor pollicis. However, this muscle has two heads. Uh, one head is the transverse head that goes transverse. Another head is the oblique head. Now, the transverse head has the origin on the anterior body of the third metacarpal bone. However, the oblique head has the origin here on the second metacarpal bone, the proximal part, the proximal part of the third metacarpal bone. And it is also adjacent to the uh, trapezoid bone and the capitate bone. Now, the insertion of this muscle is the medial side of the base of the proximal phalanx. Now, the function of this muscle is, of course, to adduct the thumb at the carpometacarpal joint. Of course, it is the directly opposite function from this muscle here, which was the adductor of the thumb. And these four muscles here that I explained create the lateral waller of the hand muscles. Now I should talk about the medial waller of the hand muscles. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description, or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe, or like my video.